so good morning everyone uh it is i don't know what day is this i think <laughs> it's sunday let me take off my glasses so that there's no glare i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i'm sitting here getting ready to start my work of youtube creating content well editing videos uploading videos so i edited a video yesterday and i'm uploading it today and my to-do list is down there and i'm making good use of this planner really i'm making good use of this planner if you've never watched my why i moved to the u.s story this is a good time to click that button over there and watch that story that story kind of talks to you the whole story why i the whole reason why i moved to the u.s now talking about immigration uh, when my immigration story started off when I decided to when my parents decided to send me to the US to come to do my education How is my lipstick? Hmm. We're not doing anything with the lips today. Okay, so my parents decided that I was going to come to the US to do my education and at that point they applied for the uh, visa the student visa uh it's called i think f f120 f20 or something of that so i can't i can't remember i know it was f20 i think it was f20 and that's the student visa so the student visa you go through the process and i my parents did everything my dad my mom they did everything and when i got accepted into a university i had a choice of universities to get accepted into there were i believe i chose three universities one was purdue university one was um another university in indiana in the united states and i think another one was southern illinois carbondale University. I really want to go to the Southern Illinois Cabinet. I also want to go to Purdue But if you know Purdue University, it's quite expensive. It's a good university, but it's quite expensive. Well Overall in general, I didn't go to either. I went to the last one and that's and I believe that it was God's calling because I had a wonderful time at that university. I had great friends, a good Christian organization that I joined. Um, if you're a Christian, I would say if this is uh, if you're an immigrant or whatever join a Christian organization because it kind of keeps your head You know focus it gives you a home family and I had so many great wonderful people that helped me out during that process So that is the first immigration um, Aspect entering students visa. So after I graduated from college, I when I was applying for jobs, I focused on getting a job that would sponsor um, like green card. That was the main focus. And I'm telling you, this is things have changed now. I don't know much about the immigration system right now, but I believe just from talking to other people, they say things have changed now. But when I did my, I was looking for jobs. I was interviewing with companies that I knew that would file H, um, H-1B visa. That's what it's called, H-1B visa. And uh, I, I found a couple of companies that wanted me to work there. So now it was down to uh, me wanting to watch which kind of environment. Did I want to work, work in a company that was large? Did I want to work in a company that was um, where I had to go downtown and walk inside the city? and things of that sort knowing myself i was an introvert i was someone that all my focus was i was i'm, I'm a bookworm i'm someone that i love reading i am so much into book 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 you know in terms of social lives i don't i i wasn't really into social lives i wasn't one person that would go partying partying i think when i was in college i only went to one party and that was my friend inviting me and i stayed there for i believe five minutes <laughs> i went in I saw this crowd of people and I came out. I was more or less on that. I would love going to fellowships. I love going on um, mission trips. I like helping people with the children and stuff. So being so social wasn't big on my list. I believe it was God. I believe it was some, I mean, everything just worked out well. I loved the company. So they filed to so the F, the H1B visa. I believe I worked in the con in the company for I want to say for like two years because even before the H one B visa you have to do OP um, and that's practical like practical training. So the when you are a H uh, F uh, student and you are an immigrant, you get this one year. I believe yeah, one year that you are able to work. 
before if you don't have your papers right then you have to go back to your country or find some other way some people find some other way they find love you know they find that love thing and um connection but i was lucky enough to be in a company where they were going to file my h1b they were going to do everything now when i got into the company and they filed my h1b i just had to keep my head straight i just had to do what i needed to do get my work done be a productive employee you know work right and i worked there for i believe uh, how long was it uh it was around that time that i got my green card right before everything went you know crazy with immigration crazy with the laws crazy with everything that was when i got my green card i was a single lady and uh it was a very nice experience i remember people that i worked with they were so happy for me they threw a party for me and all the food in that party was green so everybody wore green <laughs> and i remember that day i wore I, I don't know if i can post a picture I'll, I'll look i'll dig in my stash for a picture but i can't promise but i wore a green skirt with a white shirt to represent that even though i got a green card i'm true true niger so um, i did not say i'm no longer nigerian just because i have a green card but it was wonderful just just being not having to worry about that aspect of immigration so i got my green card and i continue working for the same company i'm still working for the same company that shows how much i love my company i love the people i work with so i'm still i've been working with them since i graduated from college and that was years and years and decades ago decades uh yeah she ain't young <laughs> but i had a wonderful time and then I had to start working on my naturalization. So working on my naturalization, that, what that just means is that being a citizen. Because if you have a green card, you cannot vote, you cannot do some things. There are some things you can do, but you cannot do some things. I wanted the full opportunity, the full experience. I wanted to be able to vote. I wanted my voice to be known. And so I started applying for naturalization. So at this point, I was, uh, I believe I had just gotten married and I started studying. So you study, there's an exam you take and I studied for it. I passed it the first time. And once I passed it, I believe uh, my husband also did it the following year. So the story about how I met my husband and all that stuff, you can click there to watch it. But after that, that was it. So my immigration story, is a very generic one when i mean generic it's a textbook immigration story so if you if you want to know how to immigrate to america and be a citizen as a student you follow my story you get your f1 you go, get a job you know you do your uh, practical training you get a job you get an h1b then you get your green card and you get your um your US citizen naturalization. So it's pre textbook. There's no, you know, I did everything by the book. Um, no easy way, no shortcut. Other people's story is different. If you have a story on how you immigrated to the America, your immigration story, or to whatever country you live in, feel free to post down below if you want to you don't have to some people prefer to stay private in that aspect but for me this is the way i have nothing to hide this is the way i immigrated i do appreciate you watching my video i hope you enjoyed this if this is your first time watching feel free to subscribe if you love more story times like this comment let me know but I thank you so much and to the new subscribers and new viewers this is me this is shola welcome to our family talk to you later bye use it twice just two times two times alone you know what happened